Did you know that you could be older than your twin? Like years older? According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, it's possible because time can tick faster or slower depending on how you're moving. What? Yeah, we'll get back to that. But first we're gonna learn all of special relativity. Don't worry, there are only two postulates. One is that the laws of physics are the same for everyone's perspective, or frame of reference, while in uniform motion. So that means that on a plane cruising at 800 kilometers per hour, an object you drop will fall straight down, just as it would if you're stationary on the runway. Same physics in those two frames, otherwise plane rides would get real weird. The crazy implication of this postulate is that there's no experiment you could do to tell that you're moving, even at 800 kilometers per hour, even at a million kilometers per hour, because you can only tell you're moving relative to something else, like the clouds outside your window. The second postulate is that the vacuum speed of light is the same for all observers, 300,000 kilometers per second. Let's just pause on that for a sec. Do you know how freaky this is? It means that if you're flying toward me in a spaceship going close to the speed of light and you shine a laser at me, you'll still measure that light to be going at 300,000 kilometers per second. And I'll measure the light to be going at 300,000 kilometers per second as well. So those are the only two postulates of special relativity. The speed of light is a constant, and the laws of physics are the same in every inertial reference frame. Inertial meaning not moving or moving at a constant velocity. Basically, you're not accelerating. And when you do accelerate, like when you experience turbulence or during takeoff when you're pushed back into your seat, you can tell you're moving and special relativity no longer applies. So it's from just these two postulates that we derive an entire physical theory and get crazy things like length contraction and time dilation and other weird quirks of physics that are real. One such quirk is that time can tick at different rates depending on how you're moving. We call this time dilation. It's weird, but it's real. Why does it happen? Consider two frames. One is you stationary on Earth, and one is your twin zooming by in a rocket. You have identical clocks. Let's look at yours first. Each time light makes a round trip in your clock, you count by one. Your twin will measure the same rate on her own clock. Now, things get weird when you watch her clock. Because of her sideways motion, you see that her light has to travel a longer distance for one tick. And since the speed of light is the same for all observers, her round trip ticks must take more time. So time actually ticks slower on her moving rocket according to you, stationary on Earth. And this is a real phenomenon. It's not some weird mind trick. We don't usually notice this though because time dilation is quite insignificant until you're moving close to the speed of light. So now, from your twin's perspective, you are moving. Therefore, your clock must be running slower according to your twin. And because the laws of physics are the same in both of these frames, yours and hers, each frame is equally correct in saying the other's clock is running slower. This is where the paradox starts. Imagine you and your twin start off on Earth. You stay here, but your twin zooms off in a spaceship at half the speed of light, turns around, and comes back. The whole trip takes 30 years, but you see your twin's clock tick slower. So due to time dilation during the journey, she only aged 26 years, four years less than you. Now here's the crux of the problem. From your twin's perspective, she was stationary, and you, on Earth, moved away and came back. You're the one moving at half the speed of light. So your twin should see your clock going slower and should think you are only 26 years older by the end of the trip. So yeah, that's not possible. When your twin gets back, she's either younger or she's older. She can't be in a super position of both. This isn't quantum. So how do we solve this paradox? Well, the answer lies in the details. When your twin turns around, she has to accelerate, which means she's no longer in an inertial reference frame while she accelerates, and so special relativity no longer applies to her. It's not as simple as saying, your twin sees you make a round trip and you see your twin make a round trip. It's not a symmetric problem like that. Because when your twin accelerates, we can tell the difference between the physics that might happen in those two frames. She will feel the acceleration during the turnaround, and you will not. So when she gets back, she will agree with you that you are 30 and she is 26. One last question. What's happening to the clocks during the period of acceleration? We still get time dilation, but we have to use a different set of rules from general relativity. General relativity states that clocks run slower in accelerated reference frames. So while your twin is turning around, her clock runs slower. And she sees the same thing. She sees your clock running faster than hers, so you're aging quicker. It's during this period of acceleration that you become the older twin. 
Now this phenomenon of time dilation in an accelerated reference frame is related to time dilation in a gravitational field. General relativity says that clocks run slower in gravitational fields, as you may have seen occur in the movie Interstellar. You can get time dilation and other strange things occurring during different forms of motion. Special relativity and the twin paradox are just the tip of the iceberg.